All right, you guys, it's day two in Boracay. Uh, we're gonna go island hopping and cliff diving today. We actually rented a private boat so we don't have to have a bunch of people with us. It's probably just safer with everything going on. Um, but before that, let's go eat some breakfast and uh, I'll take you guys with me. Let's do that. All right, so I couldn't film anything where we ate because there was some copyright music and stuff like that, but uh, we just had some barbecue sticks, you know, some chicken. Uh, spaghetti stuff like that so now we're just gonna wait for the guy that's gonna pick us up for island hopping uh, they said they're just gonna come straight to the hotel so I'm um, just gonna wait on that and we get started with our day so right now we're uh, we're walking towards the boats and then we're gonna start our island hopping adventure just following our tour guys <laughs> guys, I don't know how well you can hear me with the wind, but right now we are on the boat. And our first stop is gonna be Puka Beach. And I mean, I'm not gonna keep talking because I guarantee that there's wind noise in this clip. So I'm just gonna run some clips of the trip there and then I'll see you guys in Puka Beach. Let's get it. All right guys, so we're here at Fuka Beach now. It's very windy over here today. Uh, big waves as well. It's kind of scary getting over here because we have a medium sized boat because we decided to do a private boat for the island hopping instead of being around like 25 to 30 people. But Puka Beach, there's not much to do over here. It's just an empty beach, really, really clean. Super nice white sand. There's not any restaurants or any places to stay. So this place is strictly just a place for island hopping so once you get here you just kind of chill out a little bit and then you leave after an hour or so or a couple hours all right so we just got some ice cream the, the ice cream guy because uh, we were looking for water and he said that if we buy it um, over there it would be like a hundred pesos for a little water because we're tourists and he said if he was to buy it It would be 50 pesos. So since we bought from him He said that he would just go over there and buy it for us. So that was really nice of him. Yeah, right now We're kind of just he left his ice cream cooler. We're just eating some ice cream and got some extra for Budgie. We don't know where he went uh, Budgie's just like that. He kind of just disappears uh, all the time. I don't know why but that's just how he rolls so uh, after this ice cream, we're gonna head back to the boat and then we're gonna go to the next island. So I'll see you guys there. We're back on the boat and I think we're gonna go snorkeling next. Yeah, <laughs> you can already see the tan line, but we're just waiting on Jards. He walks real slow. He's way over there. Oh, well, yeah. You ready, bro? Yep. Let's do it. He made it. You made it, brother. About time. <laughs>
to Magic Island. And we're gonna go cliff diving. Uh, there's an entrance fee here of like 200 pesos per head, I believe. And uh, yeah, let's get into this. All right, we just made it in. There was an entrance fee of 250 pesos. And uh, it's a pretty nice place. It's really clean, not much people. It's like they have food here, um, got little stores, but the main, the main event of this island is gonna be this over here. They have a 12 meter jump, a 10 meter, and I think that's a 9 meter, and then I don't know what these are, but these are the smaller ones, but the big boy ones are this one, this one, and that one. Apparently today we can't go on the top one for some reason, so we're only allowed to stay on the, I think, 10 meter one, so. Well, let's get right into it. I'm gonna put you guys on the GoPro. Well, unfortunately guys, there's not gonna be any GoPro footage in Magic Island because as you guys can see in this jump, I had the GoPro in my hand and the impact pretty much opened the flap, let water in and completely broke the GoPro. Went to check if any files were salvageable, but unfortunately nothing was left. So whatever I'm gonna show you guys is pretty much what was filmed with my main camera. So I hope you guys enjoy. This is where I noticed it. I closed it right away, but unfortunately it was too late. off this right here and now it's Budgie's turn. Budge, you ready? Budgie, give us, a, give us a thumbs up. Hey, just don't even, dude, don't even think about it. Look at that island right there and then just jump. Don't look down because then it's never, you're never gonna do it if you look down. You got it. Sorry, I'm sorry about the wind noise, guys. It's just really windy over here. Are you, are you fucking Why playing? Why eternity later? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's go! <laughs> hey, no, 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 hey, no, 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 hey, no, 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 hey, 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 don't do that, don't hey, do that, Come don't on, let him do this. Go. <laughs> let's go! <Bruh>. Oh. <laughs> he jumped. He did it. He did it. Let's go. Good shit, bro. Hey, what do it feel like? What do it feel like when you jump? I don't know. It's like, like it feels like you're in the air for like five seconds. It's great. It's like my soul. <laughs> but yeah, we had fun. We really enjoyed our stay here. I mean, look at this view. It's a beautiful view here. Uh, super fun cliff diving. They have food here as well. So we're gonna get something to eat and then head back to the hotel room. I'm gonna talk to you guys about how much this costed, how to get a private boat, and what exactly is the process on island hopping here in Barakai. So I'll see you guys in about one second. Magic of editing, right? All right, so we just got back on land. We went island hopping, and then we stopped in an island where we were able to cliff jump, and then we also went snorkeling. And then we also checked out Puka Beach, which there wasn't much to do there. But uh, I'll talk to you guys about the whole process and what you have to do to do what we did today. And uh, yeah, see you at the hotel room. So well, guys, we just got back from island hopping. It was super fun, definitely worth it. Pretty much what it costed was about $16 each, which is 800 pesos each. There was three of us. It costed about 2,500 pesos for a private boat. Yes, what I mean by private boat means that it's pretty much just three of us. We have the boat to ourselves. We don't have to go with about 20 to 25 people like the other tours. I'm not exactly sure how much it costs for the other tours, but with everything going around, it's probably the safest to try to stick to your own boat with the people that you're with, because you never know. Anything could happen with COVID and everything like that. And that took us to Puka Beach, which was the first beach that we went to. It's also a white sand beach beautiful beach not much to do there but definitely a nice relaxing beautiful white sand beach so then after puka beach we pretty much went snorkeling that was super fun we did forget to bring bread because if you brought bread you would be able to feed the fish right there and they would feed off your hand it was it would be pretty cool but we forgot to bring the bread but it was definitely super fun 
definitely recommend doing it. And then the last place we went to, which was Magic Island. Magic Island is actually a private island, so it did cost 200 pesos entrance fee. Once you're in, it's a pretty beautiful place. They have restaurants, and mainly the best part of that place is the cliff diving. It ranges from like super minor, and then there's like the middle, and then the highest was 12 meters, but the 12 meter part was closed. So we were only able to jump off the 10 meters, which is about 33 feet. For me, that's pretty high. I don't know about you guys, but uh, it was kind of it was kind of scary. But we were able to do it. I was able to convince Budgie as well to jump. Um, he's generally not the type of person that would jump off something like that, but he did. So I'm pretty proud of you, brother. If you're watching this, I'm proud of you. And then Jared, he wasn't able to jump even though he did shake on it. But I can't blame him because we did go out drinking the night before, we had a fair amount of beers, and the next morning he had acid refluxes. And pretty much the whole island hopping tour, his stomach was hurting and I kind of felt bad for him. I mean, it's kind of the worst time to get a stomach ache, right? <laughs> but you guys let me know, was he just faking it so he doesn't have to jump off the 33 feet? Or was it real? Honestly, I think it was real. We did drink a lot of beers that night. I'll even insert a clip of him being just, you know, slightly tipsy. <laughs> hey, can I help you? Hello? Hello? Oh shit, so Ah, Jared. Kind of a lightweight man, I'm not gonna lie. So we pretty much went to three different places, super fun. Very eventful. All in all, pretty safe, especially with this pandemic. And if you guys wanna know how to get to Barakai initially, check out my last video. Pretty much just me talking about how to get to Barakai, and we actually got stranded for two days. Talked about what went wrong, and how you guys would be able to come to Barakai without making the mistake that we did. Because like I said, we got stranded. We had to sleep in a car for two days. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys haven't already entered my 5,000 peso giveaway, I'm giving away 5,000 pesos on April 15th, 2021. I'm pretty much just going to be picking five winners, 1,000 pesos each. I'll put everything in the description on how to enter. It's super easy. It's 100% free. And that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Like I always say, get out there. Do something you've never done before. Step out of your comfort zone. And I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Bye.